Well, as you guys saw, there's geese in the field finally. That's uh, a cut oat field, a rye field, and luckily it was a field that uh, my buddy just ended up getting a hold of in the past couple of years. So I gave him a call, got the green light to hunt it tomorrow. I think it looked like there was probably 25 or 30 geese in it, but you know, they're geese in a field and right now there's kind of slim pickings around here for birds. We, we need a cold front and some weather to come through and push some more birds into the area. But it's actually, the field is in Pennsylvania, so we're going to be hunting in PA tomorrow. So that means we're going to have a plug in our guns. We're only going to be allowed three shots and uh, we'll make it work though. I think it's going to be me, Chaz, and Jake as of right now. And camera wise, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anybody to uh, video it, but I'll be videoing it myself as good as I can. We got the truck loaded up. We got uh, probably 20 or so uh, full bodies in here. And I got my blind in there, so we're all ready to go. Chaz and Jake need to grab their stuff in the morning, and we'll be good to go. I'm not taking any silhouettes. I'm really not a fan of silhouettes. I know I'm going to get criticized for that by saying that, but I just I don't like them. I mean, I know Zane and Brock and my buddies all, you know, don't have anything bad to say about them, but I just don't like them. It's not really any reason for it, other than when I fly the drone over the spread and look down, I'm just kind of like scratch my head and wonder, well, that's got to be what the geese are seeing too, and that don't look right. <laughs> but uh, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, we're all set up in the field everybody. We got like 20 decoys or so out here, just under two dozen. And uh, we made the spread pretty small because there's only 25 or 30 birds coming in here. And we have pretty good hide here. So it's me, Chaz, and Jake, or Chaz, Jake, and I to be, say that the right way. I'm gonna just try to set this camera up behind the blinds about 20 yards and use the remote to run it and see how that works to video it. But we'll turn you on when the geese start flying. Well folks, this morning's hunt was an epic fail. We didn't even have any geese fly over the field. Uh, we heard some, but the birds never came. So, we're just going to stack this stuff right over here and hunt it again this afternoon. Maybe it's just a, a spot where they're feeding in the afternoon mostly, so don't got anything going on, so we'll come and try to shoot them up tonight. First skunk job of the season for the morning hunt. Okay, we are back everybody. Uh, I'm just going to fill you in on our evening hunt. I told everybody that we were gonna leave the stuff out in the field and come back and hunt it this evening. Well, we showed up there at about 4.30, 5 o'clock, and there was already, the geese were already all there. So, that was the extent of our evening hunt. So we just uh, got our decoys and everything out of there and, and uh, packed up and got out of there. But we have another field to hunt in the morning, so looking forward to that. But, this was a total skunk day. We killed zero geese, so hopefully we don't have too many like that, but I feel like I should share it with you guys because it happens, you know, it's part of hunting. But thanks for watching, and we'll have hopefully a lot better hunts coming soon.